So I'm going to create a first block of door, I'm taking a circle of three fits, and I'm adding some line from center to the coordinate point and trimming the circle. My door is ready. I'm creating a one window here and turning off the auto mode first to make a straight line. And that should be 9 inches line I want to draw. And I'm adding a 4 fit size and copy this line from here. I'll copy this again. I'm making one ventilator which should I want to make it off only 2 fits. So what I'll do, I'll copy it here from 2 fit distance. And that's all the things I can trim it here. Now, I'll convert this line into dash line, so I'll make a difference between window and door. So I'll type. So I'll go to home and pick the option from here, line type and other option. First I'll load the line type, find the dash option and OK. And select this and OK. Now select it and go to property option, take the dash tool, it is applied. I will increase the scale, PR enter, we will select this and will define the size will be 10 or 5. Adjust the spacing according to the requirements. Now I have three different objects are there. Now I will define the attribute for all the objects. I will type ATT enter, we will define first tag ID, I am giving the name A. We'll define the size 4 and do OK. Again, we'll repeat the process. We'll type ID as in B and define the size and do OK. Again, we'll repeat the process. We'll type ID as in C and again, I'll do OK. Now, I will convert them into block. B enter. We'll define the name here, door. And we'll define the pick point, select object, enter, and we'll choose the option convert to block and OK. And OK. Same way I'll do with this V enter. This is my window. And we'll define the pick point, select this, enter, and do OK. And last for the ventilator, we enter, we'll define the name, ventilator, pick point, select the object, enter, and do OK. So I define three attributes A, B, C in the blocks. Now, I want to export this data outside the software in the text file format. For that, we'll use express tool, export attribute, or we can type ATT out in command area. I'll click on this, and I'll define where I want to save my file. I'll click in this folder, I want to save it, and we'll save. So this is the name of my file, I have given my file name so that's why it's coming with the same file name we'll save the same file name and save it now we have to select the object for which attributes we have to take and enter so this is how we can export the information of attributes now we'll see the next thing how we can import the attributes and before that we'll understand the definition of import attributes so previously we have already seen that how we exported the data now we'll import the data into the software by changing the attribute values. So for that, we have to open the text file into our Excel. So how we can open that? Let's go to that uh, folder location. So this is my file here. So I'll open this with Excel. So how to open this file with Excel? When you click on this and you'll find open with, and you'll search another apps. And I have to look for Excel if it is available not coming so what we can do first we'll look over now you can see first uh, how this formats are given you see the handles are given and the block names and the IDs are there 
So handle are basically it's special ID of this block. By that it will recognize and read the file. So I cannot open this file directly into the Excel. So what can I do? First I'll open the Excel. Then I open this file into the Excel. For that we'll take directly a new Excel and double click this and open the Excel file. So my Excel file is open. Now we'll open that file in the Excel. We'll go to open and we'll define the location where we have saved that file. We'll go to browse. Okay. So here what I have to do, I have to look for all the files and we'll find that our file will be there. So we have to select that file and open. Once we'll open, it will ask you to delimit it, the data. Now we'll do next option here. And you can see this will become in the row and column form and do next and we'll finish it. So the, my data will be converted into Excel. Now we can make a changes, whatever changes we want to make it. Like I say, I want to mention here the ventilator stand for B and window stand for W and door stand for D. So this is how I change my attribute values. Now I'll save this. After saving this, you can close this. Now what we have to do, we'll go to AutoCAD and we'll export this file. Now we'll go to that. Now we are going to import this attribute here. We'll click on the import attributes. And we'll select that file and open. You see that what happened? The, all the data of the block has been changed. So this is how we can import and export uh, attributes and we can modify them with the help of this process.